I will show you the, the good hiding that you really deserve. You come and force that blue chip girl on us. Eh? What? You are forcing that chip. That's what she to do after leaving. She must stay in that area. We don't want blue here anymore. We will wait for her in the airport. Jenny, blue is a you can't say, say you will so wait for what she said. She can carry out her threat. So please, in the name of God, if anything happens to Blue, everybody, please record this. It is because of Kosi. I'm begging you all, please, watch out for Blue. Nothing must happen to Blue because of your reality TV show. You came on here to come and threaten somebody's life, somebody's daughter, somebody's family. You want them to cry because of a reality TV show. Why? Why are you guys so black hearted and then you will now start crying victim the next second i hope all the important bloggers right now are recording this they need to take this out there they need to make people they need they need to make people aware of this just in case anything happens to that girl nothing must happen to blue please that is my own point of view i have nothing else to say nothing must happen to blue thank you all right, thank you. Whoever should better remain in Nigeria and not come back to South Africa. We South Africans do not need her. If she try coming back to South Africa, we are going to wait for her at the airport. Hello, amazing fam. Welcome to my channel. It's just with Casey, and as always, my sweeties, you all are welcome. This video is packed with a lot, guys. You just have to watch this video till the end. So, guys, the first clip will be in a Twitter space where fans of you know other housemates some people are remembering that the fans or rather those people talking or the person that talked threatening blue ever's life and all those stuff happened to be coach's fan and all that so guys this person was practically saying that blue ever should not re return to south africa that it's obvious that the nigerian love her she should not try returning that people are trying to force blue ever on them and all those stuff like basically dragging the girl for you know enjoying herself in nigeria being free in nigeria being celebrated in nigeria we also what blue diamonds give to blue ever and all that like guys i don't get this people see i am not in this season i'm not here to defend anybody because i don't even have a faith in this baby titan season but i just feel like this housemates or rather should be given a break like the show is over allow them to live their life you people are the one that you know majorly creates an enmity between these housemates even after the show is over imagine how someone is threatening somebody's life because if tv reality show i don't even know the i don't even know the zoo this group of people that keep attacking housemates after the show come from like it doesn't just make sense to me so guys i don't know what you feel about this one okay you've already watched the clip drop your opinion what do you feel about this person do you feel that this person should be traced and you know arrested because she actually said a lot about dealing with blue eva and all those stuff so guys drop your opinion about so guys yesterday was beauty's um beach party okay and um most of the housemates were present i think the only people i didn't see in that beach party were groovy you know fina who happens to you know be outside lagos and obviously wouldn't have been invited and then blue ever some of the new bb titan housemates were just present okay and blue ever was spotted with a yemi they were vibing together if there's one thing i admire so much about blue ever is the fact that she doesn't have this bad or negative energy she's always someone to you know she's always vibing like it's always you know her good spirits and all those stuff around her each time she's around people she enjoys herself okay she's always vibing and all those stuff so she was vibing and then she was together with yemi and boom people started shipping them together yeah miss fan are saying oh blue ever better leave uh, Yemi alone and all the stuff and shippers bloomy shippers are already celebrating that okay this their ship is shipping again and you know a lot of things a lot of misreaction people reacting to their own in fact they went as far as saying that you know the picture of Yemi blue ever and some ladies, you know, you know, going viral on the internet, that those ladies are Yemi's family, and they are saying that Yemi's family have actually accepted Blue Eva and all those stuff. Like, guys, a lot is really going on on the space of internet. 
you know, I'm Bablu, Eva, and Yemi linking up together and all that. I just feel like, yes, these people might not be into any shit, but then they are not enemies, right? It was actually a game, and I feel like Blue Eva understood the fact that it was all a game, and, you know, got to be free spirited move on with your life okay i mean it's a show of three months and i mean uh, it shouldn't have been something that you know another person will feel like this person is my enemy or that person is my enemy after the show so guys what do you think do you think the bloomy um ship is going to sail do you think that the people that took pictures with Blue Eva and Yemi are actually Yemi's family and all the stuff? Drop your opinion in the comment section. As I will leave you with videos of Kosi apologizing to Yemi, saying the reason why she had to play along, you know, talking about her relationship with Tabang and, you know, what played out that night that they lock lips together severally so guys drop your opinion about all those issues in the comment section and i will see you all shows that where are you guys at now have you spoken after the show or is it like radio silence i mean um i don't think we have any grudges against each other i think um I think we both understand that like life just happens and sometimes things don't go your way. Right. Um, so I wouldn't say there's any bad feelings um, or grudges or or hatred towards one another. I think. Um, well, I hope you understand that. I wish him all the best, and um, if at some point he was hurt. It wasn't my intention, you know, because okay. I mean, at the end of the day, I, you know, I had a feeling that it was it was a game, and there was a, a lot of play in the game, and um, what sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Right. Right. There was a point in the game where that was after Ibuka did the whole table shake, right? And. Uh, <laughs> And Miracle was kind of like, <laughs> and, uh, Miracle was kind of like, like uh, you know, why, why are you still with with him? Why are you not? Why are you still going in this direction? And you were like, when it comes to to Yemi, I I can handle myself. I know what I'm doing. And that was after Ibuka shook the table. After you found out about everything, what did you mean by that? <laughs> Because, you know, what did you mean by that? I knew exactly uh, what I was doing. First, I saw how he was moving. But I really did like him. That's not a lie. I liked him. And he knew that. So I was just like, okay, I like this boy. And me breaking up with him or just leaving him is not going to work because we're in the same house so i need to be smart about it i need to move on before i break things off you know what i mean like sort of like um move on emotionally and just accept that okay this situation is not what i want it to be before staying it you know what i mean right so, like, what he was doing, I saw him, I was watching him, like, okay, that's fine. You can do you. I'm going to let you do you, but I'm also going to do me. And it's going it's to be, like, a uh, level ground. We had a great time. Right. And I felt like, I, I felt like, at the time, honestly, I think it was just alcohol. 